Muslims in Nigeria join their counterparts the world over to celebrate Adil Kabir. And messages of renewed hope, President Tinubu assures Nigerians of more developmental gains. Plus, lessons and significance of Adil Kabir with the clergy. These are more on Panorama today, reaching you live from Abuja. I'm Zenra Dimu, Eid Mubarak. President Bola Tinibu celebrates with the Muslim Ummah on the joyous occasion of Eid al-Kabir, an event that denotes sacrifice, faith and obedience to the will of the Almighty. The President calls on citizens to spare a prayer for the nation for continuous peace and stability while working accordingly, according to purpose in promoting unity, peace and progress. President Tinubu acknowledges the sacrifices that Nigerians have made in the past one year as his administration sets the nation on a firm pedestal of growth and development. The president assures Nigerians that his administration is prioritizing their physical, social and economic security and will not relent on this noble endeavor as he wishes Nigerians happy Salah celebrations. Meanwhile, President Bola Tinibu is asking Muslims and indeed all Nigerians to imbibe and carry on with the lessons of sacrifice of the season and play their individual roles towards actualizing a greater Nigeria. The president spoke to journalists after the Eid prayer led by Chief Imam of Lagos State, Sheikh Suleiman. Sheikh Suleiman Uluwatoi Abunola at the Durban Barracks in Lagos. We have been told by the chief imam on the and we follow the path of sacrifice. Sacrifice being a very good citizen. It comes with responsibilities as citizens. What do you do as a citizen to be a very committed uh, member of our society. Yeah, sacrifice. Loving your country. Loving your neighbors. Share what we have with each other. And be thankful to Almighty God. And in Maiduguri, Vice President Kashim Shatima thronged together with other Muslims to observe the Idil Kabir Prayer held at Ramat Square. State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jibrila reports. <laughs> Imam Idaini of Borno, Sheikh Shatima Maman Sali, led the two rakat prayers with Vice President Kashim Shatima, Borno State Acting Governor Umar Usman Kadafur, the Sheikh of Borno Abu Bakr Ibn Garbe El Kanemi, and other stakeholders in the Borno Emirate Council. The Imam reminded Muslims on the need to pray for leaders as well as peace and harmony across the country. We urge Nigerians to pray for the peace in the land and for prosperity. And this is the agricultural season. We hope and pray that we'll get a bumper harvest that will address some of the food security challenges we are facing. Beyond that, we want to emphasize on peace. We have to cultivate peace, we have to promote peace, because there can never be development without peace, and there can never be peace without development. They have to go on party party basis. So we have to rally our people to unite as a people and face our common challenges and avoid grandstanding. Thank you. The Ramat Square Eid Ground witnessed high turnout of worshippers, signifying the return of peace in the state. From Meduguri, Borno State, Abraham Jibrila, NTA News. 
and the Sultan of Sokoto and President General Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs Muhammad Saad Abubakar was among thousands of Muslims that attended the Eid al-Kabir prayer at the Sokoto Central Eid Ground. The two units prayer was also attended by Sokoto State Deputy Governor Idris Muhammad Gobir, members of the State Executive Council, the legislature among other Muslims. Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in in a sermon, the chief imam enjoined Muslims to support one another and pray for the nation. Now, messages of peace and tolerance resonate across Eid grounds in Nasrawa state as Muslims celebrate Eid al-Kabir, commemorating the festival of sacrifice. Ali Tijani reports that Governor Abdullahi Suli joined the Muslim Ummah in his country home of Gudi for the celebration, where he called on all Nigerians to support the administration of President Bola Tinibu to succeed. It's another year and another period of celebration in the Muslim calendar as both young and old converge on various Eid grounds to offer two record prayer. A festival of sacrifice as exemplified by Prophet Ibrahim calls for sober reflection as the chief Imam of Gudi enjoins Muslim both leaders and the led to sacrifice for one another and the nation at large. Governor Abdullah Hisle in his Salah message to the people of the state congratulate Muslims for witnessing and celebrating another Eid al-Kabir, calling on faithfuls to live in peace with adherents of other faiths. He emphasizes that the hallmarks of the festival is obedience, patience, tolerance and the fear of Allah. This, he says, must be reflected in the lives of every Muslim beyond the festive season. So I pray that here in Masarawa State, we'll continue to live in peace, we'll continue to work together as a people, and we'll continue to do everything possible to cooperate with our leaders and our security agencies for the peaceful coexistence of the good people of Masarawa State, irrespective of our religion and the ethnic bias. As required of every Muslim Ummah with the means, a sacrifice of Ram climaxed the season. Ali Utijani, NT News. And Muslims in Ekiti State joined their counterparts from across the country to mark this year's Eid al-Kabir celebration at various Eid grounds and at the Central Eid Prayer Ground, Ado Ekiti. General, the President General League of Imam and Alpha in the Southwest Edo and Delta States, Al Haji Jamil Kewuleru, who led the Two Rakat prayers emphasized on the need for Nigerians to promote peace, unity, and selfless service towards enhancing the living standards of the people. <laughs> Now, the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullah Umar Ganduje, extends his warmest congratulations to the Muslim Ummah in Nigeria on the occasion of Eid al Kabir. A statement, in a statement, he notes that the festival of sacrifice is a celebration of faith, obedience, and devotion which promotes unity, love, and harmony among all Nigerians. He also enjoined Nigerians to reflect on the lessons of the festival by sustain, sustaining its values and principles in support of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinibu's administration in his steady steps to make Nigeria great. 
And also the Inter-Party Advisory Council fairly states with Muslims across the country on this year's Eid al-Kabir celebration, urging them to use the occasion to pray, renew their faith in Allah and in the nation. In a statement, IPAC enjoins the Muslim Ummah and all Nigerians to imbibe the virtues of obedience, sacrifice, love, tolerance, peace and patriotism as government strives to build a strong, virile, united, progressive, equitable and prosperous democratic society. And similarly, the People's Democratic Party fell states with Muslims on this year's Eid al-Kabir, urging Nigerians to use the occasion to strengthen their dependence on God's unfailing mercies and reinforce unity, love, brotherly care, mutual respect and sense of patriotism in all their dealings. And the PDP, however, urged Nigerians not to despair, but continue to be their brother's keeper and use the Eid al-Kabir celebration to further reach out, share and care for one another in love and hope. Now, former Vice President of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, congratulates Muslims on the celebration of this year's Eid al-Kabir festival, calling it a celebration of God's love and mercy to mankind. In a statement, he notes that the celebration of Eid, as stated in the scriptures, is not merely a fanfare, but an admonition to the people to have forbearance and show compassion in every situation. He calls on governments at all levels to be deliberate in initiating measures that will ease the hardship that confronts Nigerians. And still on Eid messages, the Chief of Defence Staff General Christopher Musa rejoices with all Muslims on the occasion of Eid al-Kabir. In a statement, the CDS says, no doubt the sacrifice of Prophet Ibrahim serves as a reverence point for loyalty and dedication to Almighty Allah, noting that members of the armed forces of Nigeria remain committed to the democratic tenets. General Christopher Musa also commends the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu led administration for unflinching support aimed at ensuring the armed forces of Nigeria remain the pride of the nation. And still in a festive mood, let's find out from Obehi in Benin what the mood is like, the heartbeat of the nation. Hello Obehi, it seems like there is excitement in the air. Hello Zenret, welcome to Benin. As early as 8 o'clock this morning, Muslim faithful gathered at various Eid grounds in Benin to, for, to observe the Eid al-Kabir prayer. Uh, at the main prayer ground, we witnessed the prayers there, which was presided over by the Deputy Chief Imam. He presided over the uh, prayers because the Chief Imam is currently observing Hajj, this year's Hajj. Well, the message of the Deputy Chief Imam to the Muslim Umar and indeed all Nigerians is that they must imbibe the virtue of peace and tolerance. He pointed out that these are the panacea for uh, peaceful coexistence, which will bring the much needed group uh, development that the country needs right now. Uh, he also urged the Muslim Ummah to practice today as they go about celebrating um, one of the main teachings of uh, Islam, which is charity. He re reminded them that all fingers are not equal and so they must learn to uh, uh, share whatever they have today with those who cannot afford. Uh, give them a sense of belonging as they celebrate Eid al-Kabir festivity. Now, how is the um, atmosphere like during the celebrations in Benin? Well, as always, the atmosphere is always peaceful in Edo State. You know, there's one beautiful thing, Zerin, about Nigerians, and that is that religious festivities like this tend to bring people together, irrespective of their religion. Today, you find Muslims and, and, and non-Muslims alike celebrating the Eid al-Kabir. It is not only a day to relax uh, and unwind with loved ones, but it is a day to show love, and that is expressed in, in the celebration. There is peace, people uh, um, felicitate with each other. Uh, all around Benin, we've been hearing 
happy Salah, happy Salah, both from Muslims and non-Muslims alike. That shows that uh, the festivity is not for Muslims alone, but Christians and non-Christians are also partaking in this Eid al-Kabir celebration in a very, very peaceful way. All right. Thank you so much, Obehi. Now, I am being joined now by Sheikh Abdul Ghani Hadi Yatullah Kajola, Imam of Form 1 Headquarters, Juma Mox, here in Utaku, Abuja. You're welcome to Panorama. It is my pleasure. All right. Now, let's start with the significance of Eid al-Kabir. Can you highlight some of the significance of the celebration? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, waliyu salihin, fala udwana illa ala dhalimin. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-mursaleen. Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali wa sahabi wa sallim taslim an kathira. First of all, we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best word is blessing upon every one of us and beautified our hearts with this great religion. That is the religion of Islam. And the same Allah Almighty that uh, commanded us to, is to celebrate today. And in Islam, we have about three types of uh, festivals. We have weekly one, which is Juma, and we have uh, Eid al-Fitr after 29 days or 30 days fasting. And we have uh, Eid al-Adha, al-Kabir, which the Nigerian people call Eid al-Kabir. That uh, Eid is the greatest Eid that we have. And today, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named today as Yawm al-Hajj al-Akbar, the greatest day of Hajj. Because this Eid, it has to do with Hajj, pilgrimage. You can see yesterday about uh, one, more than uh, above 1.8 pilgrims, they were on the mountain of Arafah, uh, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their hiram and bringing themselves before their Almighty. And Allah, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven them and they were celebrating there yesterday. And today here in Nigeria and across the globe, we also, we are joining them and we are celebrating with them with Eid al-Kabir. And this Eid al-Kabir, it's all about to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is almighty, because it was historical. It was yesterday during the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made this, he named this religion as Islam. And he told Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I have already completed your religion for you and I endorse that religion as Islam uh, for you. And that one happened on the mountain of Arafah during his farewell Hajj. That is where you can see over two billion Muslims across the globe today are celebrating and they dress well. They put turbans and caps and, uh, uh, and their al kibba and all of them, they are celebrating in a very, very beautiful way and colorful way. Okay, we'll continue this discussion after this break. Join us again. Thanks for staying tuned. Now we'll continue our discussions with Sheikh Abdul Ghani and the Eid celebration. Now, Sheikh, let's also look at the lessons of this day and especially relating it to nation building. So, Alhamdulillah, one of the uh, great lessons of, uh, of uh, Eid al-Kabir or Eid al-Adha is to promote Islamic brotherhood and to promote love among the Muslims and, the, and their co-brothers, our non-Muslims as, as well. That is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Muslims to give their sacrifice. Because that sacrifice is all about to give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need blood. Rather, he doesn't need your meat, but he needs to, he wants your taqwa. That is a good intention and, and is fair during the slaughtering. And as well, he wants you to use that meat to promote uh, brotherhood. Can you imagine? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself, he decided to share that meat. You can decide to slaughter ram or you can decide to slaughter cow or camel. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, you have to divide that ram or cow or camel into three. He said that uh, you have to feed the al -qani, somebody that is in need, but he's so contented, he will never ask anybody because he's protecting his uh, personality. He doesn't want to go and beg. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that consider him with a uh, part of that meat. And he said that well, mortar and the beggars, because we don't want beggars to tarnish the image, the color of image of uh, Eid al-Adha. 
That is the reason why Allah SWT said, I consider them, don't let them to come to your house and beg. You know them, wherever you are, you have uh, this, uh, this, uh, poor people, so that you consider them with that myth. And it doesn't matter, even non-Muslim, you can also consider them because the, uh, the, the, the bacteria of your, your, your meat, you have to pro, uh, roast it and prepare it with drinks on some food to your guests. And your guests could be a Muslim or non-Muslim. Indeed, we can use this celebration to promote Islamic Brotherhood and to reach uh, humanity as well. Okay, now lastly, Sheikh, there is always a coincidence with the two major religions in Nigeria. For example, during the Easter and Eid al-Fitri, today again on a Sunday, Christians are going to church and Muslims to the mosque for Eid al-Kabir. And also today is Father's Day. What does that tell us as a people collectively? Uh, yes, anyway, we are being created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are all from uh, the same source, from Adam and Eve. That is the reason why you can see everywhere in the world, you can see how Muslims and non-Muslims are mingling, and they do interact together, they trans transact together, they work together, they live together. That is the reason I know any community now that you, uh, if you can say that this community is purely for only Muslims. Rather, you, get, you see Muslims and non-Muslims, and we've been living together. Even one of, uh, I mentioned there's something yesterday, during one of my interviews, I said that there was a year during our Eid al-Kabir, I saw non-Muslims, they came and they were so happy, mashallah, even smiling and watching the Muslims pray. It shows that there is connection and as well there is a relationship between, between them so that they don't fight each other. Today, Muslims should not say that, uh, not say that is, we are going to masjid to aid the uh, aid ground to go and pray so that we are going to fight with our brothers and sisters in another faith. That one is very, very wrong. Rather, we will greet each other, we meet on the road and greet each other. And I can say in our center in Otako, we share world with another church there, I think Monte of Fire. And I believe today as a Sunday, I couldn't hear anything from them. Maybe they did it deliberately to, to not disturb us because they know our own comes once in a year. I think that's the understanding that they have. And we appreciate that. And up to this moment, we didn't hear anything like a clash or something like that between Muslim and non-Muslim. Rather, Islam is a religion of peace. And the beautiful aspect of Islam is that uh, you should be able to accommodate everybody. Mm. And you don't force anybody to join your religion. And you cannot force Christians today that don't go to church, come and celebrate Eid al Adha with us. Never. Right. We don't do that in our religion. All right. Thank you mm. so much, Sheikh, for finding time to come and give us your Inshallah insight. All right. Now, sports update with Bright. And that's it on Panorama today. I'm Zen Red Dingmoon and Eid Mubarak.